Hi everyone, my name is Devendra Borse. I work as a staff technical support analyst in BMC software. In this video, I will show you how to perform CDM denormalization, which is also referred as CDM flattening. Denormalization is implemented uh, to optimize the read performance of the database uh, by storing all related CIS data in fewer or single form or a table. Denormalization can be achieved by converting the regular class into the categorization class. Let's see the example. If we uh, create instance in BMC product regular class, instance value is updated in the tables of BMC product class as well as all the preceding parent class. So we can denormalize BMC product class here by converting it into categorization class. So in case of categorization class, values are stored in immediate regular parent class. Categorization class do not have storage. So let's see the demo. First open BT and then go to ATM core console. Then go to application launcher, advanced and select CDM denormalization. And make sure that you have already taken a database backup. Then you can check this option. And also there is another option that do you want to rebuild index on the impacted tables at the end. So check this box as well so what it will do it will rebuild index on bmc core base element and bmc base relationship so if you uncheck this option then you will have to do that manually from the database you will need to rebuild the index on those tables and also uh, before starting this cdm denormalization make sure that there is no any ai or normalization or reconciliation job running and then you can start the CDM denormalization. You can see that it initialized. You can refresh this to see the process. So there are 20 tasks which are pending. You can see that pre-validation in success. Okay, initialization success. There are no any attribute conflicts. Okay, okay I will uh, go to the actual server and I will show you what all logs we can see. Okay, you can find the logs under atom core cmdb utils and cdm flattening and then you can see the log directory here it creates two log files one with the cdm flattening and one with the server name so you can see in this log file it did the pre-validation then it also checked for attribute conflicts and then it exported the all definitions for base element component and you will also see that it is creating new class uh, that is temp logical system component so actually uh, during cdm denormalization a parallel hierarchy is created where all cdm denormalization changes are implemented successfully and then it is switched with the existing hierarchy so currently it will take some time to complete Okay, once it completes, you will be able to see this window that CDM denormalization process has completed successfully. And we are done. Thank you for watching this video.